Ah, ah, ah. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your main man, Humvee. It's your boy, DB. And this is the Truck Cast episode number... 40. 40. 40. 40. 46. 46. 46. 46. Episode 46 of the Truck Cast. Happy New Year. We back. Back. In this thing. This thing. You feel me? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I, I, I do that down some stuff. So I just we back in this thing. You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? Everybody in YouTube land, everybody in Facebook land. Shout out to everybody. We back, y'all. Episode 46 of the Truck Cast. You know what we do? We talk about relationships, how to find love, stay in love. Stay in love. Uh, dating issues. Dating issues. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure it out, uh, how to stay together longer than 60 days. Longer than 60 days, please. 60 days. That, that's a big deal, right? That's a long. Yes. 60 days is a big deal. Make sure you guys come in just a little bit. So mm -hmm. you guys. Uh, 60 days, as you can see, we have guests in the back of the truck tonight. We just want to turn this one this way. Okay. Go ahead. Probably that's uh, uh, The Unpopular Opinion Podcast is in the truck tonight. What's up, ladies? What's good? Hey, <laughs> Happy New Year. The Happy first the first guest um, for the truck cast. For the truck cast. The Unpopular Opinion Podcast. Mm -hmm. We got Miss Portia. Behind DB, uh, Miss Brooke. Hello. Behind me, Humby. Uh, go ahead and tell them a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself. Please. What up, Michelle? I'm Portia. Mm -hmm. I'm Brooke's best friend. <laughs> That's how you say. It? Yeah, I'm Brooke's best friend, Portia. Okay. okay. I'm the one that disagrees with her. Uh, <laughs> mm. So how did the uh, the truck the um I'm saying the truck how did the unpopular opinion podcast come about? Uh, okay, so the unpopular opinion podcast came yep. about through our natural friendship. We've been mm -hmm. friends um for like over ten years, yeah, and we never really like on major topic topics. On major topics, we don't really agree on uh, most things, but it's healthy because like she gives me a healthy right. and a different perspective, uh, and I, I I respect her perspective. And her views and, and vice versa. So we heard it. when we have <laughs> when we have conversations, um, normally a lot of times, like on a lot of different things, yeah. we don't agree on it, and we we have these very interesting debates, and we just decided to record them and make them public, make them public, okay. and we started posting them on our pages, and then somebody hit us up about like possibly starting a podcast, mm -hmm. and we were interested, and then here we are today. We actually just launched our first podcast on the first on the, on the first of the We're year. We're available on all outlets. Every what? last one of them. All of them? All, all of them. them. Like all Spotify? All of them. All of them. Damn. Stitcher? Yeah. Damn. What up, Emily? <laughs> what up, on, keywords? And we're on Instagram and we're on Facebook right. at our unpopular opinion. Right. That's what's up. Shout out to the un popular opinion podcast and joining us on the truck cast tonight hey uh what up everett uh db what's up man how you been man how you been man how you uh so far so good no complaints man everything's been going good man oh you guys gotta make sure you watch us on youtube yes uh we also on youtube live if you want to watch it on youtube we gotta eventually move over to youtube guys what up benoit yeah uh look in the link look in the description of this video you can click a link and it take you up to our YouTube live as well. We're going to interact with you guys on YouTube and Facebook live Definitely. simultaneously. Definitely. Definitely. Hey, um, do we got a, uh, tell them what we're drinking on. Oh, well, tonight we are drinking on the, for the new year. For the new year. We, you know, we're bringing a new year. <laughs> how, how do we say that though? Black. Black and all that. You know, how we doing? Ground you know, up black. Ground up black. Black, black uh, attack. Black attack. I don't know why I'm touching I'm a, I, I, I want to just blow up a fist when I drink this thing. <laughs> Keep it black. Keep it black. Black attack. Black attack. Did y'all get something? No. What? Oh, I, I, oh. I actually oh. left my computer. New Year. You knew us. Yeah. Come on, don't ladies. worry about it. Y'all got to share, yo. You know what I do, but I actually left my cup. How you left your cup? Because I wasn't thinking about it. I'm sorry. You got to take it to the head now. Sorry. Oh, no. But we pulled it all the way up. Pull it all, pull it all the way up. They're going to share that thing. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You got a PSA? Um, you want me to do a PSA? You got a PSA? Uh, no, I don't have one. Hey, uh, <laughs> PSA. 
Uh, ladies, I'm trying to do it like. Go ahead, come on, do it. Hey, um, guess what? I am available, and that's it. Hmm. Humvee's a very good guy, lady. So if you want to holler at Humvee, don't be surprised that he wine and dine. Whoa. Take you on trips. Whoa. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, just don't. Yeah. Whoa. What up, Javon? I, 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 Isaac, producer Javon out there. What up, Javon? Doing big things for the yeah. show. We got big things coming out. Well, we got real big things coming out. As we always tell y'all. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Hit the likes. Hit the hearts. Right. If you do that, people can see the video on Facebook, guys. Hit the likes, hit the hearts. What up, Antoinette? Yeah. Do all that. Hit the hearts, hit the sad face, the laughies. Hey, mm -hmm. make people come out and watch the show, guys. 5114 Curry Drive, Christian Tailgates, Dollar Tacos, $3 yeah. shots. We here every Tuesday night when we're doing the show or wherever other night we're doing the show. You guys got to come out. Got big things coming with the podcast. In a major baby. way. Hey, but that's a, that's, a whole, that's a whole different thing right now. What? Truck fashion, truck fashion. Hey, I got a truck fashion. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Humvee and DB? What up? I've been with my cuffing season, girl, since October. They say cuffing season normally lasts from the months of September through March. But from the looks of it, I will be letting her... I'll be I'll, I will be letting her before the new year for high starts. school. No, this is what he said. But from the looks of it, I will be letting her go before the new year starts. But I'm just saying, I'm, oh, I'm damn. Angry. OK, yeah, the she she has controlling issues. I missed the text message and she started tripping. I missed her phone call and she blew me up at least 70 times. Damn. And this is what we argue about. That's what the fact that a person can't be busy doing something else and miss a call or text. Like Humvee told Mary Jo, damn, somebody was watching that episode. When Humvee told Mary Jo, she she turning our relationship dialogue into a check-in instead of a check-on. How should I address it? Thanks for the help and continued success. Cuff Enough. Shout out to Cuff Enough. Shout what out to Cuff Enough. Thanks for what the truck. Cuff Enough. Thanks for the truck fashion, Cuff Enough. Yeah. Ladies, do you want to touch on this? The Unpopular Opinion Podcast? Y'all yeah. want to touch on this? Okay. I go first. Go ahead, right. That means a bad thing. <laughs> no, it's not a bad thing. Mm. I kind of agree with him. Like with stuff, stuff yeah. happens. Like I'm not right. gonna always be by my phone. Right. Like especially if you're working and you got stuff going on, mm -hmm. you're not gonna mm -hmm. always be by your phone. Mm -hmm. Like people are so used to having yeah. that instant that contact. Mm -hmm. Right. Like no, back what in up, the Kimberly? day, if you wasn't at home by your phone, you missed the call. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it's nothing wrong. So with he me. should get. He should. She, she should get over. She, she tripping. Mm, she tripping. She, tri she tripping. Tripping. She tripping. That's that's the first side of crazy. Mm, you know, some men like crazy. <laughs> they do. They keep going back to it. Some men like crazy. Mm, like I like crazy. <laughs> What's your take, bro? What's your take, bro? Um, I'm. I actually agree with uh with you. I think that's funny. <laughs> she loves me today. <laughs> Um, that is a bit much. You can't. That is extremely controlling. Plus, you have to establish in the beginning, like what the boundaries of the relationship is. Especially if y'all only mm -hmm. connecting during cuffing season. It mm -hmm. sounds like he probably wasn't gonna. He probably wasn't really serious about her anyway. Right. Right. So that he didn't say that that was his girl. He probably that's probably just somebody he's smashing. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, like you can't put them kind of expectations on somebody mm -hmm. you just having sex with. Like I text you when we get ready to have sex. Right. Like, but the question. Oh, sorry. But 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 is she being controlling? Yeah, like I mean, I do think that you should be reasonable when responding. But I, I'm also understanding to the fact that people are busy. You don't have to keep tabs on people. But like, what else are you doing with your day? Like, if I know that you're a busy person and you just don't like to be bothered, like you want to be a lover, not a smother. Mm, so a lover, not a smother. Damn, I like that one. So I mean, yeah. Well, me right. personally, I think well, you know, if she calling that. To him, mm -hmm. seventy times a day. That's a like, <laughs> that's what they do. I think he's probably just exaggerating, but you know, yeah. that's a, a nevertheless. But seven is a lot of times like shit. seventy. Yeah. A good seventy. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. like, what you did, he, call? did he establish that it wasn't more than just couple? Well, you know, I don't. Th I I think um, he didn't establish that with her, but 
his intentions was like, let me just get a couple season back, just mm-hmm. real quick. Well, he had to make that clear. Yeah, you got to make that clear. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't establish that that's what we doing, right. you don't tell me, hey, look, you my girl. You mm-hmm. my girl for like these amount of months. I feel like if a guy don't claim you, you, you already know. If you don't claim know. me, then I'm not finna be blowing up your phone like that. Like, well, some girls make an assumption. Well, I mean, that's cuffing is. season bay, so like cuffing season bay can turn into something else. Yes, absolutely, but, yeah, but nobody it seems likes to, that's nobody not likes what he aiming for. Train, it right. could go to something else. It's like it either it is or it ain't. Just God be dang. straight like, forward. Like, like, like if you if we just, just cuffing during cuffing season, how can hey, that's cool, but if you're not trying to like, hey, look, you my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna put boyfriend expectations on you if we just cuffing. Men would mm. be surprised if y'all would just be honest. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised a lot of stuff. So much get. stuff would you cannot. So you would avoid so much. Hmm. Keep believing that shit, fellas. No, I'm no, it's keep the truth. Believing that shit. <laughs> I'm very serious. I'm dead Happy serious. New Year. Let me <laughs> tell you something. If, I, if, <laughs> if we just, if we shit. just fucking, we just fuck. Right. Just fuck right. And right. I, for me, I choose. Me. I choose well, if I get to no, fuck right. you, but this is the thing. If we're just fucking. You have to take into consideration that I could be talking to other people and I need mm-hmm. you to be okay with that. That means if you see me out with another nigga, you need to I'm fucking with you, mind your goddamn business. Respect it. Just like you want it. Bro. Shit. Let me find out you low key savage over there. I'm she is. Saying, she I'm is. Not saying I'm savage. I'm just saying, like, me, you, you put that expectation on we just fucking, you think, like, oh, Y'all you know, know we so you think that we're just gonna be so right. you you got my loyalty at that point because we just fucking like no we're just I'm fucking you're the fuck guy <laughs> then there's a guy that I go eat tacos with <laughs> there's a guy <laughs> that's I call, the guy I eat tacos with him and, and smash on the there's there's my taco bitch. There's, just there's, made there's, that clear there's, there's a guy you don't fuck right. all the guy you I fuck right. I'm fucking you but I, I go eat tacos with I got a fifty six I have a guy that fixes my car or when I need things done he comes I got the friend zone guy who's there. For oh, we know, support. we know about the friend zone guy. Every woman has that. <laughs> Everybody you got the has that. Guy that's there for emotional support. Right. And you just got the guy, the guy that you really want, and you want him to act right. You just kind of wait. Just wait. See. Just, what what gonna gonna just based in that turkey. Huh? <laughs> you just wait because then that's the nigga you'll take the shit off. Mm-hmm. Of. Wait a minute. Thank you, Brooke. God, dog. Well, I mean, it, it is like you need to like let know, like yo, yeah, man, you definitely. can't be calling me like that. Um, yeah, yeah pretty pretty much. Um, I think the the girl's tripping. That seventy shit is, is is out the window. Like he yeah, needs to go that, ahead. He needs to go ahead and cut that short. That's mm-hmm. that misery shit. Yeah, y'all ever seen misery? Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen yeah. that shit. He need to cut that short. That's like, what's gonna happen. Don't especially if his bed. intentions is like Wait, I'm on that just on some cutting <laughs> type shit. Like he just had in his mind just to have her just for the holidays mm-hmm. yeah. and like doing she spring should. break. Like that's it. Like, you want the, the, the holiday hood at that That's what it was. She, she wasn't talking to nobody. You trying to get a present. You want the holiday hood at that yeah. yeah. that. that stuff. You, you hear from that shit clear. Clear. Uh, that's Because what you, got women, just you got yeah. women that will get emotionally tied. Mm-hmm. You got quick. You didn't, you didn't introduce me that's to all your demons. That's what it was. Soul ties and shit. Soul ties. Yeah. That shit real. What? Soul ties. Say it again. What does that mean? That's like... <laughs> explain, explain. When, when your soul, when your soul have a time. <laughs> when I have a connection with you deeper than sex, but I got it through the sex with yeah. mm-hmm. So that means all of like that's a lot when of you your good up. traits and your bad, bad traits, traits transfer. That's how when she teared up over to me. A lot of shit that y'all, a lot of, you know, like men that fuck like a lot of different females. Yeah. That's why they be so fucked they be up so in fucked head. up in the head because they transfer all that negative shit. And it transfers even back if you and don't forth. get a sexually transmitted disease, you get a spiritually transmitted, transmitted disease. disease. You got all them fucking souls running through you. Think about and it. Stuff. You fucking three different women you in fucking, one week, and all you what? got one bitch that's bipolar, mm-hmm. one bitch that's depressed, the whole time, one bitch that's just bad shit, crazy, bad shit. Oh my god, that's getting and shit on me, right? right. <laughs> yes, like. All right, let's get, thank God I don't do that. Yes. <laughs> Wondering why you can't sleep at night. Huh. And you ch- Wondering why you getting chased by bears in your dreams because you're dealing with this crazy bitch. <laughs> why I gotta be the crazy no, bitch? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had a homeboy. I had a homeboy. He kept saying, he kept getting chased. I got chicked out. He kept getting chased <laughs> by boiled eggs. <laughs> what? Say, <laughs> hey, nigga. <laughs> because your attitude is stank. Ah. <laughs> she probably fucking with a stank attitude. Put. Oh, I didn't say he get chased by boy. Stank, stank everything. Oh, man. What the fuck? Stank what? breath. Why are you getting dreamed by boy there? Yeah, you need to eat healthy. Your heart bad. Nigga, that's what it means. <laughs> Shit. What? <laughs> All right, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. 
Uh, like we were talking about it earlier, but I think we'll, 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 we'll talk about it later on. But uh, I wanted to touch on this real quick. Thirstiness in 2019. What Javon, Javon said. Javon said condom blocks the crazy. Child, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Condoms if block. I only, if I <laughs> that boy's so stupid, See, dog. No, no, that's how he's taking a producer. You yeah, yeah, somebody you. that got depression. Oh, you start fucking yeah, this, that boy's so stupid. You wonder why you depressed about oh. shit. <laughs> Man, this boy dumb as hell. Thirstiness and how it relates to compromise. What? Thirstiness and how it relates to compromise Go ahead. in a relationship. Go ahead. Uh, you have, so can you be thirsty in your relationship? UPP. Have you ever yeah. been so thirsty that you would have to uh that you would compromise yourself just to be with somebody? Oh, like Me? no. That's the example. Oh, if I say mm. personally, no. So you never been so thirsty that you would compromise like yourself. Like thirsty for a relationship no. itself. Well, I mean that that could be it too. But like you like this guy so much, or you know I like this girl so much that like you know what I'm saying fuck it I'm gonna just mm-hmm. bow down to whatever she wants or you know just deal with her bullshit mm-hmm. or his bullshit. Never. No. That's never happened. Mm-mm. I'm I'm trying to think of like uh, that because there's so much in she it to unpack, right? Huh? What? You see, I don't look like her. <laughs> no, no, she's talking about she a little machine about that bullshit. <laughs> no. What up, Jason? I'm gonna call you out on it. I, right. I'm gonna call you out on the bullshit, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna let you know that I recognize the bullshit, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you know how I'm going to deal with the bullshit mm-hmm. if I want to deal with the bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna let you not think that I don't recognize it and that you're just getting away with it. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, yeah. it's like what what we can what. It depends on what it is we talking about. Cause like I said earlier, like mm-hmm. you learn to love people for how they are. So if mm-hmm. I know you a you're a person that's, you know, like I don't know, you clumsy. This is these as right, right, right. right. <laughs> I'm gonna right. love you clumsy ass for who you are. You right. just I can't expect you to carry shit in the house because you're gonna break it. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's just white I, foot nigga. Right. <laughs> like that's something I choose to accept about right. you. But when right. we're talking about like toxic character traits like mm. such as like you being you being a liar or right. you right. not being a person that keeps your word or right. you being verbally abusive or right. you being um manipulative or controlling like that's not mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. no that's not that's not good for me mm-hmm. you know right. Right. so no that's not I have too much self respect to sit up there and be that thirsty to compromise who I am as a person because later on I'm gonna resent you yeah. and myself. Right. Like, right. no. So it's not that? Okay. Yeah. I, I was, it's happened to me. It's yeah. happened to me, but not mm-hmm. knowingly. I was in a relationship when I was right. younger with yeah. somebody that was older than me, and he was controlling me in mm-hmm. a way that I didn't realize. And, right. And, and I wouldn't call it thirstiness. I would think I was just... And at that point in my life, I was subservient. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know anybody. You was what? Subservient. Tell them the difference between subservient and submissive. <laughs> so submissive, submission is a choice. Like that means I trust you, and I'm I'm gonna trust. Subservient you gonna, mean you don't. Subservient mean you're controlling me. Like I don't really have, a, I don't mm-hmm. have the choice. Yeah, you I'm choice. you ruling over. Kind of like what that boy was doing. Like you Survive. telling me what to do, and I feel like I'm doing this because I don't have another option. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. So I've been in a situation like that to where like, damn, I feel like I got to stay with him because like he didn't destroy myself to seem so much. Mm. So like, I don't know what else I would do. But oh. then I really got in touch with who the fuck I am and then right. I came up out of that. But it wasn't so much of me being thirsty. It was like, really, you lose yourself mm. when you when you decide to die to yourself like that. Mm. Like, uh, what do you call it? How the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Or, like, or take mm-hmm. the take the skin off, you know, the snakes out of the skin or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's so like that. skin come from. What? Go ahead. <laughs> Y'all want smoke? You want some more of that good stuff? We still, we still You sure? Drink the pop. Y'all ain't gonna do them and go to work tomorrow and eat lunch. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I ain't like you do shit at work. Right. No, I black really black black. <laughs> know black don't do shit at work. Nah, yes, we do. Shit. Have go no to work. Idea. Just go to work and eat lunch. You have no right. idea what I go through. I don't take it. I don't have it. Shit, man. In 2019, what will and what won't you compromise in relationships. So, um, do we need to ask them their um, status or what? Yeah, what's our status? What's our relationship status? We're both in a relationship. We're both in They're both in healthy, healthy, committed, committed 
relationships. So what no, I'm guys, saying? these ladies are not available, mm-hmm. unfortunately. They're not available. Bah, bah, bah. They are. So tell me how long have you been thriving your relationship, Mrs. Uh, Porsche? Mrs. Miss Porsche. Miss Porsche. I'm sorry. I'm like, I ain't married to you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, I've been saying that shit wrong. <laughs> but like, how long have you been th- in, that, in your thriving relationship? Oh, mm-hmm. Three and a half years. Three and a half. Going on four. Okay, like, yeah, going off. Like, like, it's like, 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 no, it's March. It's March. Okay. Only y'all know. Three and a half years. The press of a great, great <laughs> relationship. That's awesome. That's awesome. Three and a half. Years. How long? Um, six months. Next month. Okay. okay. Now you said six months. That's considered a, a, a brand new relationship. To me, yes. People out there, you been dating a person for six months. Give me a yeah and nay. What up, Shantae? Is that? Consider a still a new relationship at six months because I've been with somebody for like three months and I think that's is, a, a thriving like, relationship. When you, when you compare that to like four years, like that ain't I, shit. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. like, but this is the thing. It does. It really feels. I like just answered my own question. It feels like we've been together longer than that because we just vibe like that. Oh, vibing. We, we just vibe like that. We, it's nothing was forced. Mm-hmm. Not everything was organic and it really just flowed. Like my light, no, no, your light. This light right here. Oh, no, no, not that one. Well, this one. Yeah. Straight up like that. So okay, great. No, but you can't see it on my yeah. nose. Oh, oh okay. Lord Jesus. Oh, no. That's like on my head. <laughs> he push it back some. Are you good? Yeah. Well, you, you can turn it back to you. What up, Janice? What up, Zach? Yeah. Sharonda? Yeah. I, yeah I, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, did we did we even answer? No, you didn't answer. Um, in twenty nineteen, what will and what won't uh, I compromise in relationship? Um, I guess I won't. Oh, I don't know. I, for me, I'll I'll probably. Um, I don't know. I've gotten. I've since since I've been single. I'm not. I've been, I've been getting like very selfish. Like I've noticed that. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> so why you laugh? See. No. Go ahead. I've been getting very selfish. So like. Um, I would have to work on that. I definitely would have to work on uh, my selfishness. I have to work on my uh, my attitude. <laughs> and uh, I think that's it. I think probably those are the, the, like, the so when you so basically you becoming you you became single. You're learning about yourself. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and like what what single. what I can deal with and what can I you know. So what up, Tamika? But you realize that's not something you have to compromise when you get in a relationship. Is like, it? No. Somebody will really understand your attitude. Like, I thought, like, being in previous situations that a lot of things about myself and who I am and my personality, like, I was going to have to compromise until I met somebody who was so much like me and who understood me without having to explain mm-hmm. it. And all of this stuff. But then I realized he needs his time just like I need mine. So it's kind of like I had to understand. So, so you have to understand it. Yeah, you have to find somebody who understands. Well, who I mean, you are what's wrong with questioning? It's nothing wrong with questioning. Like, why it's not like, question? It's nothing wrong with questioning. I question. Okay. That's how okay. I. That's how I got my answer, and that's how okay. I was able to understand. Well, how it often did you? How, well, like, what, how often did you question? Like, were you strategic with your questioning, or, or I, did no, you just I go at it? Take, I just go at it. Like, damn, why you do stuff like this, or why you do stuff like that? You gotta be able to communicate with your significant. Or sometimes you could just observe, like yeah, of course, yeah. when you learn your significant other, like you know, I, there was a lot so of things harsh. like when I first, when when I went, when we first first got in a relationship, mm-hmm. and I was watching him, and I'm like, I'm like, why he do it like that? But now I sit back and watch. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Now, mm. and I get it instead of just like rushing to hey, you should know, like, let me learn my man, let me yeah. learn what he like. What he learn like. your man, ladies, learn that. It's, learn it's your man. It's, it's your responsibility to learn. There's a reason why he wake up and make and make sure and he made sure it was reciprocated too. So okay. okay. We vibe and then a lot of things again, like I said, I don't have to explain because he just understood. I feel like you don't really know a person till you've been with them like over some years. Like she says she renewed for three years. You never well, you, know yeah, you never stop learning. You like, never you learning. never really know somebody. It's mm-hmm. like even if you live with somebody, that's when you start to learn somebody. But mm-hmm. over the years you still continue to learn little things because people change all the time. Nobody yeah. stays the same. Yeah, I mean Mary Joe said that people people we keep should constant change. Yeah. Like, Stay evolved. Now if somebody them, ain't yeah. changing something wrong with them. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, you change with maturity and yeah. life, right. lessons. life lessons. Life lessons. Just learn certain good. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta learn your partner. Change with them changing, and mm-hmm. be afraid, and don't be afraid right. to embrace their change. All the time. Ba-doom-boom. 
Good night. <laughs> I was like reading Rainbow. You know what? I, I used to watch the Rainbow. But you don't remember. Take a part. look. It's in the book. We don't <laughs> own the rights to that song. Right. <laughs> hey. I uh, can't get. What's that? Anyway. Oh. Take a look. How the fuck you don't know that song? No, but I didn't know how. I, didn't know I bet you know saying. Sesame Street. Mm-mm, I don't like this. What I do? No, Sunny day, sweeping up. We are not singing <laughs> this at <laughs> not. <laughs> God damn. What the hell are we singing? Kid jingles and shit. Uh, true or false? True or false. When in a relationship, you should not worry about yourself so much, but put all your focus and energy into your partner. Bullshit. True, true or false? Let me repeat it again. True or false for, the, for everybody out oh, there. It's false. Then. Uh, <laughs> when in a relationship, you should not worry about yourself so much, uh, but put all your focus and energy into your partner. False. True or false? False. False? false. You will lose yourself doing that. And you but then Eminem you say you gotta lose yourself? You, you gotta lose yourself, yourself in the moon in the moon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You falling asleep back there? No. She falling asleep. She's hey, man, hey, no, hey, no more sips for you. No more. I'm this not, your I'm last sip. I'm, <laughs> I'm just chilling. What up? We Let me say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what up, boy? Uh, oh, my God. No, 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 no. We gonna say that. Forgot. No. Hey. <laughs> so, how, question? so you would lose yourself yeah. in trying to you just make. Your spouse or your partner. Like, you need to make time for yourself. Feels, mm-hmm. It's all about you. Even though you love and other people, you still have to make time to love, self care, mm-hmm. self you take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. Mm-hmm. If not, you Physical. will lose yourself. You will go mm-hmm. crazy, right, right. and you will not be the person you was trying to be. That uh, should encourage you to have exactly. Your own life. Like, right, definitely. Anybody mm-hmm. that you if know, your spouse don't encourage that, that's, remember we we want a, a lover, not a smother. Exactly. Mm-hmm. A lover, not a, not a smother. smother. Except it's them folk jobs, because I like them smoking. <laughs> Chicken, too. Chicken, too. I forgot y'all cook. You you make some smothers? <laughs> Who don't? Chicken and folk jobs? Yeah. Both of y'all? Chicken. Smothered? Smothered. Turkey neck. This is a relationship show. We ain't talking about cooking show. This ain't a snack master. <laughs> snack. <laughs> it's the trick hand. That boy said, Next I'm week we bring a hot plate. <laughs> we gonna have. A- <laughs> that boy said, "I want love some smokes." <laughs> stupid man. All right, Brooke, did you answer that? You said the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. What's your latest love languages? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mine, my primary oh, is physical touch and receiving gifts. Mine is active service, physical touch, mm-hmm. independent on the day. Quality. <laughs> Depending on the next one, like what, well, like, on the, like uh, hey, girl, I'm watching Monday Night Football. I can't give you that right now. You'll be mad. No, I'll be mad because I'll be on the other end of the couch. I'm never going to disturb a man while he's watching sports. I'll be on the other That's end of the couch. Are you not married? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? You did that. <laughs> you did I that. sit there, I watch it with him. Hell. Yeah. I grew up, I have a dad and I have a brother. My mm-hmm. brother plays football. Okay. He played basketball. So my family's all about sports. Right. So sports is sports. You know, I understand. Mm-hmm. Like game day, we all in the same attire. Right, right. Sitting there in front of Take the TV. Some, yeah, of course. Okay. Let's make it sure. Of course. Trust what? me. Oh, shit. Trust me. Bro. Who that, baby? Oh yeah, you from New Orleans, huh? Yeah, she cool. Oh. I like, I like, to, I like to say, I like Drew B. <laughs> Drew B, babe. I like Drew B. Five oh four. Who that? Oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, do you believe that compromise is essential to the success of a relationship? Yes. Yes. Why? Because yeah, you have to be able to see something from both points of view. Hmm? Huh? Bad. What? <laughs> I got tongue tied. You have to be able to see stuff from both points of view in order to make something work. Right. Mm-hmm. It can't just be your way or the highway. Exactly. Be considerate of your spot. Say that again. It can't be what? Your way or the highway. Say that one more time. It can't oh, no. be your way or the highway. Say that one more time. It can't be your way or the highway. What is it say? Come on, Pastor. Come on, Evangelist. Evangelist, Brooke. 
<laughs> I need you to say that one more time. I said mm -hmm. it can't be mm -hmm. no way mm -hmm. or the highway. Mm -hmm. Well, I, like I know it's all right. The dope. The dope. The I like that, bro. I like the dope. That. <laughs> <laughs> like real talk, like because they got people out there like right. them. Right. Nah, come on, man. So it's it's really like if you can't do this X Y Z, like then you not for me. Right. That's like, how they what? like. What kind of shit is that? There are uh, a lot of people that think like that. A lot. And, uh, and a lot of people are single. And that's why they buy themselves. <laughs> that's why they buy themselves. Single. Keep keep cuddling up with that pillow. <laughs> pillow will keep you keep you real warm. Pillow will really? <laughs> keep you real warm at night. This is the singing room. Oh, what song is that? I'm going to be Tito Jackson. We don't own the rights to... <laughs> we, don't, we don't own the rights to none of that song. It's going to be Tito Jackson's song. Let's get into gender roles. Hey. Oh gender roles. <laughs> I need some more to yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah, pull, pull, pull it up. Pull it up. I can't see ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to now it begins. Oh, I thought it was All right, y'all ready? Yeah, that's why. Anyway, I just tapped it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, Um, gender uh, with with role reversal, are men referred? Of, what up, Nelson? Are men revered? Is that same revered? Revered of their relationships as a protector or as a provider? You, no, they, you can't read your own hand, right? No, referred to. So basically what you're asking yeah. is what's the role of a man in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. With the gender role reverse now. Are we protectors and providers? Or yeah, both, it, we should be both, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Protectors and providers. Protectors and providers, or are we nurturers and I mean, I don't see why. Like I say, I think that gender roles can be reversed mm. in certain in certain stipula certain stipulations. There's always an exception to yeah. every rule. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the wife nowadays, a lot more women are a lot more independent, a lot more CEOs, a lot more successful. They have higher positions than men. So why can't? Okay, well, why? Well, I'm in school. I'm better myself. She takes care of the household, and I take care of the kids. Whatever. You know what I'm right. saying? Just you know, as you may man. not as a man. You know, mm -hmm. but God, that don't make you less manly. I don't think it that does, makes you less. Turn the phones off for the phones for the show story. Does it make you less manly? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make you less manly, you know, if you do that. So it's like you still can be a man and handle your business with, with your wife, but you just you just at home handling business in a different type of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And do you agree with that, Miss uh, Porsche? So like I was telling Porsche, like like if if I hurt myself, I'm going to my mom. I'm not going to my and dad. Ain't got nobody. Oh, okay, okay. See what I'm saying? And, and with you being home, well, that's that's with true. dad being home as the nurturer. Because you, and, I bet your sister went to your, went to your dad. Yes. When, when, when her daughter gets hurt, she's going to go to her father. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to Like, I think, I, think, I think it's some, it, there's an exception to every rule. It's, right, of course, but my so, sister didn't. You don't, I don't know that. I'm telling you. Okay, but I, there <laughs> are people out there that yeah. probably did. Yeah, but I mean. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, if uh, my uh, Laura get hurt, they're going to go to Mitch. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, that's so that's, that's a certain situation right there. But yeah, like you said, the circumstances got to be different. But I'm that's saying, one of my friends with the with the with the. Um, <laughs> yeah, we left y'all lost. Hold on, what she said? What up, CJ? So I'm saying, with you as a father being at home, you going you want your kids to come, like if if they get hurt. I don't have a problem with y'all. Like, <laughs> I want my mama. Like I was saying, I want my mama to blow in my eye. I want my mama to rub my chest with Vicks. I don't want my daddy to do that shit. If that's what you've grown up in, I don't care. Whoever, I was one of the parents like is there. That's what I'm saying. Ain't nothing day. like a it's mother's like, love. Get, that's what I'm saying. Like, I get that. I get right. that. If you're the father at home, if 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 you get laid I'm off at your job. Like <laughs> you don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> like what? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I mean, Portia. No, it's like, Portia. I mean, if you get laid off at your job, you know, Lord forbid, and, you know, your wife is the one that's working, bringing in the money, whoop -de -whoop, and you at home with the kids or whatever, you know, let's say y'all got, like, a baby. Naturally. <laughs> naturally, yes, you're taking care of that baby. But as soon as mama get home, that baby gonna be all up under mama. 
point blank period yeah. like yes you taking Good. care you taking care of the child I had it all day. Day. <laughs> yes, I mean it's not even about you having a baby all and day. It's the, most diverse, the baby, like baby children, be happy to see their daddy come. They be happy right, to see right, their daddy, right, but they still be up under mama. That, that, way, but just, that is not, is not a. But if I think it's, it's massively attached because the woman has to make it. Mm-hmm. Well, this was this is this is what yeah. I would say. Like I'm I'm for getting rid of the roles in general. Just do what's best for your family, right? Right. So if that means that you know your wife stays home and she's the homemaker, do that. Mm-hmm. And if that means that the husband goes to work, he's the protecting provider, do that. But you know the as far as like roles, like people attach that to anatomy, and I think that people don't realize that yeah. a lot of people have toxic mothers, and having a toxic mother is worse mm-hmm. than having an absent father. Mm-hmm. You know, and a lot of people and women go through so much after having a baby, like. I could just have a baby and I'm going through postpartum depression. I can't even look at my child. Mm-hmm. So then who's going to nurture it? Mm-hmm. But I, but you put the expectation on me because I'm a woman. This is just what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Right. I'm going through something. You can't even recognize it. Mm-hmm. Like so many women deal mm-hmm. with that. And I think that when we put that, those kind of pressures and societal standards on people, like mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot. I just say do what's best for your household and whatever. And, and I agree with you in the sense of whatever comes naturally for whichever parent, but as far as far as the parenthood game, it's an equal game. It takes two people to make the child, it takes two people to raise the child, mm-hmm. and whoever does what for that child and for that household, as far as like you know, just like as far as domestic things, let's just get off of parenting, okay? Mm-hmm. You know how many men I know that cook better than women? That are way better cooks than women. My father uh-huh. taught my mother how to cook. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm like, uh, what I'm saying is like, oh, and, and my boyfriend cleans up way better than I do. Not to say I can't clean. I'm gonna call that clean. You call us clean? Uh, but I'm not to say I can't clean up, but he's like, yeah, he's he very particular about stuff. He'll see a spot in the corner I didn't see, and I'll be like, wait, baby, what you talking about? So I'm saying it's like, you know, like when you when we put these types of expectations on people because this is what um what's supposed to be natural. I think it's just really what's conducive for your household and what conducive for your mate find out what your partner needs find out if you are able to meet those needs and mm-hmm. what it is you have to offer right. in response to that so if what you have to offer is being a homemaker and being a nurturer be that right. but find out if that's what your man needs because you offering him that and he don't need that from you right. mm-hmm. he probably needs for you to he need a partner he needs right. you to be supportive find out if that's go what he work needs. he needs you to do that but if you got a lot of minutes like no nah, baby i got this you do that. Right. This I do need a homemaker because mm-hmm. I take care of everything else, and I just want want to come I home to this, some man. some soft arms and some and something warm, some warm thighs. You know, so find out what it is oh, that you need. Some warm thighs. Not a clean house. I'm talking about thighs. squat. Do some <laughs> squats. Do your kickbacks. You, you know, know so just find Walking out. Walking on the block, everyone keep it tight. As them, a, the head and thighs tight. Yeah, not what well, Jesus already saying. Like, come on. Girl. <laughs> Well, as a man, like as men, y'all know what y'all need, right? Yeah, yeah. What up, Tony? You should be able to to articulate that to a woman. To a woman. But our women can't take that. They well, can't right. take no, like, yo, I ain't meet you fat. I don't want you to be fat. Right, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, is that really a need or is that yes. a want? That's a want. So Wants want, are important separate sometimes. Your work, oh, yeah. so separate yeah, your definitely. wants from a need. Definitely. I'm talking about what yeah. you need to function in everyday yeah. life. Like, what you need. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'm playing. 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 What you said, you need to, you say you you need them what? <laughs> yeah, needs and wants are two different you things. You gotta find out what you say. need, find out right. if your partner fulfills those needs mm-hmm. and what she has to offer you. And then you also gotta realize that a lot of times our spouses give us things that we didn't know we need. Mm-hmm. So you need to take those things into consideration and see how that works for you mm-hmm. and how that works for your life and how that's gonna flow like symbiotically. Hey, and thighs, like, I ain't never saw something wrong with that. I, that I, one, need, I just want the head and thighs. That's what you feel like you need, but they be the head night. They're gonna come a point in time when thighs not gonna be tight. They might rub together. A little friction for the. Yeah, a little friction for. Yeah, let's go. I mean, that's the next question. For the no, I was trying to make a rhyme. I was trying to figure it out, but I couldn't. A little friction for the fruition. Hey, I you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's trying to be a good girlfriend. Right. right. I don't know what's going on. It's gender role reversal. <laughs> you talk uh, about it. We still on gender role. We on gender role. On gender role? Yeah, is gender role reversal sustainable? 
This is sustainable. Fellas, in could you be a home banker? I need my fellas that answer. Mm-hmm. All my three fellas that's watching. I need my three <laughs> fellas to answer. Would you be a homemaker if your right. wife, mm-hmm. you fell out for your career, yeah. your wife has mm-hmm. a successful career, right. and she says, babe, you stay home and watch the kids. Would you be a homemaker? Was that a homemaker? Home record? No, home homemaker. Record. Like a like like a, a like a stay at home. You dad. make the home, brother. Right. Let's would, say your wife started the business, right? And you working, right. you make really decent income, but your wife business turned to a million dollar yeah, company. Yeah. Right, right. And she's like, baby, you know what? I really don't because a lot of women want that, right? But what is the Hello, reverse happen? Right. Like, mm-hmm. okay, well, baby, you know what? You can quit your job. You can come into business with me. I can help you start your own business. Listen, or if yeah, you yeah. want, you know, yeah. you could be home and yeah, do work for me, man. Yeah, you can yeah. work for me. And a mm-hmm. lot of a lot of men do work for their spouses, and it is conducive at times. Sometimes I'd stop. I would never work with my with my sister. I personally you would never work with why. Not, I think I you because I, I think you need that time apart. Yeah, yeah. Need, we need that you time need to apart. have yeah. that time apart. Oh I would never. I would not mix. But it's okay. Okay, it. for instance, I don't mind doing like certain projects with you. You know, well, projects here you. and there. What? You know, be like, hey, let me. You know, I want to do a photo. But you still shoot. want your own identity. Yeah, yeah I want my I want own. Identity. Identity. I want us to come Ain't home. Nothing wrong with different. I want us to be able to come home, talk about your business. We talk about my business. We try to figure out how to. Why not talk about the same business? Like, hey, baby, I don't mind. I talking think about, Rob no, needs to get fired because no, he did this type of shit. Why not? I don't mind talking about the same business. I don't mind. And I, I don't, don't mind if we have home. projects together. Let's say we're working on one project that simultaneously work with both of our companies together mm-hmm. every now and then. Okay, cool. Give me we a got project, the same yeah. publicist. Okay, cool. That don't mind me, but my business is my business and your business is your yeah, business. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to work with my wife. I don't want us to be... No. No. Business and Hell no. I would love to work with my wife. Because if not... Because if not... It's not, it's not going to be no end to the business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to be home. No. We're talking about business. You don't, leave, right you, don't, you don't work with your husband, huh? huh? You don't work with your husband. I don't mind doing See, certain projects That's that, that, that Libra shit. Wanna Libras want to be a hollow bone. They want to overconduce of you and shit. They want to smother. They want to smother. I love you. That's that Libra shit. Libras are not smothering. I'm not smothering. I'm anything but a smother. If anything, I'll give you two or When you was married, I didn't see you for seven years. Right. I <laughs> see you ever. I was like, where's home be? Where is he at? Smothering. I, I lost a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, this was his wife. He was grave. That boy was the poach. <laughs> his wife was the poach out. That boy was the grave. That boy smother. And how often do you not see your man, Miss Portion? I go like maybe two weeks. The He's week. the man and she's the gravy. She she probably brown gravy right here. That's the brown gravy. She <laughs> smothered that man. She I smothered that man. That's what she time. doing. I give him my two weeks. I don't go hey, two that's weeks nice without seeing him. You give him two weeks? That's yeah. that's, that's, that's that's a long time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a long time. Damn two weeks. Bring your ass over here. Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> He's a smother. He's a smother right there. Two weeks? He's a smother. But just my boyfriend travels a lot. Oh, that's different. Okay, that's different. He travels a lot. He's always busy. Like, well, guess he what? Works nights, I work days. Well, guess so what? Mm-hmm. Like, guess what? When he traveling, she on that FaceTime, ain't she? Sky. See that? <laughs> <laughs> he the pole chop, she the brown gray. I take that. I like it. it. But it's not I'll like we that. on FaceTime for like it's, 10 hours. It's consistent. It's not constant. Yeah. And hey, like, when, I, when like, I dated like, a girl like, out of town, hey, I would FaceTime her and fall asleep right. on the FaceTime with her. Why? Because that's what she wanted. I was trying to be a good boyfriend. So that was Is that considered smother? I mean, that, I mean, that if he wants want to, it's, it's times want. when he called me, he wants me to just fall asleep on, on the phone with him. Okay, cool. He'll call me at two, like two o'clock in the morning. Okay, cool. I'm gonna answer the phone because that's when he's up. He works. That answer the goddamn phone. <laughs> hey, girl, hey, hey, hey! He, hey. He, you better put that he, phone up when he, I call. He letting himself out. He telling you. He telling you what he. Oh is. my god! I know you ain't talking. I, you ain't talking, bro. What? I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna leave you alone, bro. I'm I'm that boy, you, that boy, no, I'm not a smoker. That boy's gravy. Turn it on, man. I'm like, I'm horrible. If you the white girl, you mess the goddamn show. He's gonna be the damn gravy. You mess be the damn believe show. He's gonna be the gravy. Forty weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> All right. Should women now pay for dates? I have no problem. I have man. no problem. Uh, this okay. chess not checkers. All right, but like, damn, <laughs> where are we going? 
I would surprise you and pay for the day. Like I will not tell you that I'm paying. When a check, when it's time to pay, I will pay, or I will get up and act like I'm going to the bathroom and be like, "Hey, it's my card." Mm. Damn. Right I'm not gonna let you know that I'm paying for it because I know it's gonna be an argument. Wow. What's an argument? Wow. Wow. Because not. the man's I'm pride. Not. You got some men that have that pride that's gonna be like, "No, I got it. I got it. I got it." Especially if it's an well, expensive uh, day. Well, once he once he figured out you pay, he got no problem. But all you gotta do is slide that thing in your purse when you when you go uh walk right. into the uh, gas station and get get some uh, a right, big red. Right, 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 right. But I don't want you to know that I'm, do. I don't want you to know that I'm paying for it because I don't okay. want it to be no conflict. I just want to pay for and it. That's why I say like when you walk in the gas station, go get you a big red. He gonna slide that thing into your purse. All the you money like you pay. Red. I do like big reads. I'm girls I haven't had like one in a while, but I do. Actually, you know, we got three leaders in the pantry. Oh, shout out to big reads. Shout out to big reads. Re. No Coca Cola. You know, we have random stuff in the house. Timmy Chance. Timmy Chance is not Timmy Chance. Brooke, you going to pay for dates? Of course. I'll pay for dates. Oh, ladies out there. I'll. Our two ladies that's watching, like, do y'all like, pay for like dates? Said, do y'all pay for dates? Better. But for it's the 2019. Month, for, this is the reason why we don't mind paying for dates. Our boyfriends mm. do that all the time. So mm. That's what I'm talking at about. Times, like, it's more it's like, come on, let me let me do something nice for my man, <sighs> or you know, let me surprise him while he's he sleep. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna make him some breakfast. You know. Thank you. You gonna get these two cold chops, eggs, grits, smoke. You know. It's Welcome to egg toast. whites and turkey bacon. <laughs> I mean, what if you don't want egg whites and turkey bacon? And cantaloupe. Breakfast supposed to be cantaloupe. I like cantaloupe. You know, cantaloupe. We uppity niggas. Oh, by the way, me and Humvee have become uppity niggas in 2019. Yes. Okay, you know. We leveled up, y'all. We leveled up. No Sierra. So it's not an issue. I have no problem with paying for that. I think most women that's good though. That's good for A lot of women don't want a lot of women like, no, I'm not playing for no man. And that's why they're 38 and single. The reason why a lot of them have issues with that because a lot of men be expecting it. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like, oh, you know, they're having to do it all the time. That's mm-hmm. the thing. If your, a lot really, of men, if your man treats you right, like it's really nothing you really right. want. To do. If my right. man if my man right. asks me, if my man mentioned that he wants something, he's going to get it. And my if man he be like, hey, like he wants something, I want to get it. Yeah, I'm like. thinking about it for he's thinking about it. Like, oh, my baby would love this. That's Ooh. nice. Yeah, yeah. Considerate girlfriends. I like That's y'all. Right. Be good, considerate, nice girlfriends. The thing is, like a lot of men in this, like this day in this generation, they just got that mindset of like, like they just lazy. Oh, they think lazy they like what? No, 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 no. Women are lazy. Dangerous as well. I'm yeah. not saying. I'm not saying women are not lazy. I'm not taking that away from no okay, woman. Okay. But a lot of men these days, like I told you before, I'm oh, old school. Did. I'm okay. from old school. Okay, a lot okay. of these men, the stuff. My expectations mm-hmm. are hard to meet. The things that I expect mm-hmm. from a man is not offered these days. Oh. It is not offered in none of the men. Like, like the stuff that I would want a man to do is like, like pulling teeth. What? You know, like open the door stuff. for you. Oh, thank open you. Open open opening the door. The, the car door every time, huh? Open the car. I'm not my boyfriend, the car every time. If, every if time. I'm riding in the car, my boyfriend, he makes sure that door is open. He opens the door for me. He closes the door for me. He pulls the chair oh, like for me. Though. He opens the door. Like we walking into a store, he opens the door for mm-hmm. me. He walks gotcha. behind me. Like you know, it's mm-hmm. like it's stuff like that. That and what is your what is your, your what is your, your your shivery that you doing for him? As we said, what is your reverse shivery for your she man? Just, she cleans. I, take, I clean his house. No, no, hold on, this, this ain't Brooke question. This is this is Portia. <laughs> ain't Brooke time. This ain't Brooke time. Like, when I when I'm over there, I cl- I make sure like before we go to bed, mm-hmm. his dishes are clean. Mm-hmm. I straighten up his living room. If mm-hmm. he got stuff laying around, I clean up after him. If he in the kitchen, he. But is your folding clothes? I'll fold his clothes. I've washed his clothes before. I put all his clothes in a pile in the corner. I want to fold dark. clothes for you. I make his bed in the morning. What? I want to make you feel good. Oh, no, just... I said, you so kind. <laughs> I'm just saying, you so tired. You don't all right to that song. <laughs> While you he so in the shower, I'm making him making his bed. Like that? Fluffing That's the just... damn That's pillows. I'm talking about Putting the remote in the center of the bed so that when he get home, he can find the remote. That's yeah, 40 ounces. That? That's like, 40 no, ounces. I'm dead ass serious. That's 40 ounces. Because ladies, I know him. When ladies, he gets home, he just Ladies, if you want to chair, you single, you might want to get high let D-Lay in the body. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, it's, it's all about knowing your partner. Like, I know right. him. When he gets home, like, he works yeah, long. Like, you know what he likes. He, he does a lot of stuff. So when he get home, he throwing his clothes off. Like, mm-hmm. he the type of person, he just throws stuff everywhere. Right. Like, he'll have a bottle of ocean spray 
sitting on the counter that's been sitting there since yesterday because he was home. He's he like, got he drink ocean spray. Yeah, he drank ocean spray. Oh, but, you know, it's like, it's that warm, so while he's sleeping, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the drink in the refrigerator. He looking for it, so he ain't looking for the remote when he get back home See? from his session or whatever. I put it on the bed. So he, oh, there go my remote. Let me put the TV on. It's simple oh, stuff like yes. this. It's kind of to me that's common sense. It's common sense of stuff that somebody else I'm is not going to think about. Too, to come on, yeah. It's about thinking about the stuff that that person is it not going to think to do. My boy that's going to help them out. Me, he doesn't ask me for anything, mm -hmm. which makes me want to do everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I notice that, like, I notice that sometimes, like, I'm not saying he don't eat, but I know he don't really cook like that. So there's mm -hmm. times I'm like, baby, did you eat? I'll hit him <laughs> like, baby, did you eat? Well, have, I'm gonna cook or I'm gonna bring you some food. I'll make you some food because I know, mm. like, it's you know, he don't really cook at home, mm. so I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna make sure you got a nice home cooked meal. Mm. You know, baby, have you rested today? Are you good? Like, mm. I always like try to do like things that. to make sure that mm. he's straight, you know. And I think about what it is that he's doing in his day and like how he'll be like tired of like stuff like that. I'm trying to be considerate because he really Damn. don't ask for nothing. You two women are, I don't think a lot, I don't think a lot of men ask for nothing, though. A lot of me. No, a lot of them are my lips, sir. A lot of They want to do all kinds of stuff. I've had some crazy ass shit. Yeah, a lot of me. Can you be bothered with a headset real quick? Because I know my man don't he don't really ask me to do anything like he's always trying to like look out for other people. So I want to look out for him. I want to be a tourist. He's a tourist. And I always, I always want to make sure he's straight. And like, it's the same thing. Like, because I say like we so much alike, he do the same thing for me. So, but I'm constantly, constantly thinking about him and thinking about like. So you thinking about him right now? Yeah, Aww. I'm always thinking about like, okay, is my baby straight? Thinking about you, dog. Is he tired? Like that boy say know, stop. That boy say once you get married, all that shit stop, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. That's not true. I, I mean, I'm not get married, mad. but I've been with the same person, and honestly, I still have feelings for women like from when we first so, met. So, my mom's been married to my stepdad for 15 years, and he still gets three hot. My grandparents been married for 15 years. Three hot men. She gets three fresh hot men. My grandparents been married over oh, years. Still spoils him. She still and clips his toenails. Yeah, and like that. Him. That's what I'm talking. About. I don't want her to clip my toenails. What? She clip my toenails. You she step got, your game. She up. gotta have one of them, one of them welding masks on. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely still it does not change like like real still, love does not change it's just consistent she still takes care of him mm -hmm. she still get on him make sure you take his medicine make sure you keep yourself she still picks out his clothes in the morning real love does not change that's how you know when it's real I mean, in my opinion, because like I said, I've been with the same person mm. for all these years. Like, of course, we've had our ups and downs. We've been through, we've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, to this day, like when I see him, I still get butterflies. When I think about up. him, that's I still get butterflies. And up. it's like just you being with him. <laughs> We don't write that song. What, I don't know what we were saying. You don't know what we saying anyway. <laughs> but that's good. I just feel like like real love, like that, it does not change. It does not change. Of course, you're gonna go through things. Of course, you're not gonna be happy with that person. They're gonna piss you off. Right. Real like, love. Real love. Like my parents, they've been married. I'm 27. They've been married 28 years. Damn. And like, like they just came back from a whole week trip from Dubai for the anniversary. Like my dad That's surprised right. my mom with a trip to Dubai. That's right. Like That's it's right. like, and they're going like five. Like they always here. like <laughs> no, like they, my parents travel like literally almost every other month. Uh huh. They go like literally. They mm -hmm. both retired or something. <laughs> no, they're they not retired. Make time for that. They yeah. make time for it. That's dope. They going. Dope. They going to St. Thomas in January, oh, and then at the beginning of January. Well, but this is January. I'm going to St. Croix. <laughs> Wait a minute. But yeah, they going to St. Thomas. We're going to St. Croix. April. Next, like two weeks, they going to St. Thomas with my dad's best friend. <laughs> but like, gonna, they just make time. Uh, like, they they I'm going to in two weeks. All um, like all year. I'm going to Crystal Beach. <laughs> I'm going to Gals in two weeks. Yeah, your daddy is still the going same. Like her dad, I remember when we were younger, like I used to go to their house and her daddy used to be paying her mama toenails and probably mm -hmm. greasing her scalp right before he put I do that for my mama. Yeah. I ain't got to do that for my mama. Oh, shit, she, she got to return that shit, shit man. Like, they were teenagers. I washed oh, their hair up under the sink in the kitchen. Oh, that pot. My daddy that. used to wash my hair. He used to call my hair. 
Right. Because I mean, he had like, daughter. He know better. Right. I mean, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. My daddy definitely combed my hair because my mama couldn't comb hair for shit. <laughs> what? My mama could not comb no hair. My daddy's like, come on, baby. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with it. I mean, there it is. Gender roles and compromising uh, at its best. Tony Clark says she need her, her scat breeze. I got you. What you use, though? I use Whirl Curl. <laughs> Blue badge, <laughs> blue badge, get roller girl. Hold on, <laughs> sporting waves. Sport. <laughs> what was it? Round, round. Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, that Murray, Murray. <laughs> that Murray, oh, that Murray. Oh, 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 man. Oh, so oh, for eight. God. What they call the dog man? What a nickname for a dog man or some shit? I have no idea. Uh, put some that dog man in it. It'll help you grow. Like, what? This my granny swore by that. She would grease my scalp twice a week with that stuff and wash my. Oh my god! I used to go to school smelling like my Lord, granny straight sulfur. She put that hot comb in my head. Damn. Royal crown. Yeah, they call it royal crown. <laughs> hey y'all, we did it. We did it tonight, man. First show in 2019, y'all. Yeah, man. Appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. Um, YouTube, Facebook, uh, our unpopular opinion. Podcast, go ahead and put your information out there. How can Tell I can find you in Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, our unpopular opinion. We podcast versions, but we type. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We are available on Apple, Apple, Google, Google, mm -hmm. Spotify, Stitcher. Spotify, Stitch, oh, mm -hmm. Stitch, 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 like everything. All, They're all, literally all, everything. on SoundCloud, literally all everything, right. all the platforms. And our first, no, I don't think we're on SoundCloud. No, no, we're no. not on SoundCloud, you, you but SoundCloud. we're like on all of the. We all do, of we need, but we are literally on all of the other. Yeah, everything else, yeah. literally, and all of our and our first uh, podcast <laughs> literally was about family. Can you get rid of your family? It's family expendable. Mm -hmm. I should go listen to that because we wow. have difference of opinion on that. Family expendable is it? You I cut your like family so. out. I have, I mean, I have. I have. I have. I have. I didn't cut my family out. I have before. I never cut my family. Out. You know, you don't. Nah, that's that's my stance. Hers is you can cut them off. You the crackhead, Craig? I love crackhead. Thank you. I love my no, crackhead. No, you don't. Let you love them. I do. And, you and, and we let them. We even let them suspect in, Uncle Steve. We let them in the house. We just don't leave him around Uncle Steve. You know, Uncle Steve like to touch. Make him clap his hands, and that's it. Oh, Steve like the touch. Don't leave Cause the face gotta go. <laughs> you, know, you know, Uncle Steve. You know, Uncle Steve like the touch. So you don't. Know, <laughs> the face can't be left. Uh, Uncle Ricky is a clip though. <laughs> See, you gotta make that. them kind of people clap their hands. But I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, bro. My crackhead cousin is a thief, but mm -hmm. he will whoop your ass if you need somebody. Somebody mess with you. And you call my cousin. His hands ready. Oh, he ready. His hands ready. He don't. You don't even need to tell him who you like. Who just point him out. He, oh, like he that. in there. What? He take off. He, he take, take off. off. That's the cousin you call him. Okay. For mm -hmm. answer. Man, no, no. I have no cause with you, uh, right? At all, cousin Ricky. No cause at all whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, our unpopular opinion. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you for having us. Miss um, Porsche. Yeah. And Miss Brooke. Yeah. You know Porsche. Y'all did y'all thing. And amazing Brooke. show. Amazing Thank show. You amazing you show. Yes. Hey, y'all want some more this drink? Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Facebook. Facebook. Make sure you follow us on IG, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Instagram. I, that's that's IG. Uh and what? I think that's it, huh? Snapchat. You follow Instagram. us on SoundCloud. Yeah, I said Snapchat. Tum yeah. Tumblr. Yeah, everything. Tumblr? Yeah, we do have Tumblr. <laughs> so follow us on all <laughs> platforms. Tumblr. Guess what? We are coming to Spotify. We are coming to uh, Apple. Coming to Apple. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, real soon. In a major way. A Thank major you guys so much way. for supporting us. And um, I guess next week. Next week we'll be back, man. We'll be back with a new show. Yep, yep, yep. Some um, more topics about relationships. Trying to get this thing together. We're gonna be we well, I'm gonna have somebody in 2019. Hey, share this show. It's the why why it's live. Hit the share button. Hit the share button, guys. Make sure you share the show on Facebook, share the show on YouTube. Hold on, say it. Tell your friends you sniff your don't bring she can't use my comb. Let me tell you, my brother had two what is, of them. What does that mean? Oh, so only people girls that got natural hair? Girl came no, she came back. That's how she came back. She came back last week. Cool, let's go. All right. Uh, make, sure, make sure. Make sure. Yeah. Bye.
I bet uh, you couldn't write a Make sure you guys you share the show. Share the show, okay? On YouTube, Facebook. Tell all your friends about the truck cans, okay, guys? Go ahead. Hey. That, I think that's it. We'll see you guys next week. I just want to hear some more of the conversation. Hey, it's your baby man, Humvee. It's your boy, DB. Hey, see you next week. Peace. Peace. Bye.